Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to Painting with Whiskey and Women. I am Krista Barrera, a furniture artist out of Barry, Texas. With me, as always, is my girl Sue from Milo and Picasso. Uh, before we get started, I have some things I need to say, and then Sue's going to take over. Um, we have had a loss in our community. Um, Kat White from We Be Chalkin', her husband passed away. So if you know Kat, she is a part of our Painting with Whiskey group. She's one of our feral housewives. And um, if you could go over and show her some love, we would much appreciate that. Kat, we have the utmost sympathy for you, girl. And uh, big, big hugs, big hugs. So we love you. Absolutely. So Kat's on and Kat is on. So Kat, we love you, girl. And hey, Kat, we love you. We're praying for you, girl. So take over, Sue, while I get all this other stuff done. Yeah, I also had a little bit of bad news. Um, my good friend, Brad, here in the flea market, um, his daughter was put to rest yesterday. And um, we're really praying for Brad. Uh, and I'm trying to pass it around the flea market here that we're, we're taking up a collection to help pay his final expenses as well. So that was really sad. I can't imagine losing a child losing my mother about killed me okay on a better note i'm sue from milo and picasso and i'm located here in flea traders paradise located it in the smoky mountains at 1907 winfield dunn parkway severeville tennessee um you won't see milo today because he's behind me in that crate and time out he wouldn't stop barking he got all excited. He got to go to the doctor with me this morning, and he has not calmed down since. Uh, anyways, you'll probably be watching my hands a lot today because I'm good, I changed what I was going to do literally two minutes before the live. And I'm going to be working on a signboard uh, and blending barn door, salsa, urban farmhouse, and French roast, which is a really hard blend, actually. And then I'm going to do this always tasty coffee. Her, her coffee. She's making a coffee sign. I got to have a coffee sign. Just in case I forget that I need coffee. Like that would ever happen. Krista. Yes, ma'am. How you doing? How you doing? Um, okay, so... You guys know that when Sue was here, we ordered that resin. And, uh, you know, I... I pulled a Krista and um, on when we ordered it on Amazon, I had the a credit card on it that was linked to the old address. I never changed it. Well, it finally came in yesterday. So we're trying this new resin. I tried it last night on some of the mushrooms. And let me tell you, it is amazing. It is hard as a rock, but there is a learning curve to this. Um, this you can only make in very, very small amounts because it sets up so quick. So this is the type of resin that they use with like little figurines, like people that pay, play Dungeons and Dragons, they'll pour the mold and then they'll paint their own characters oh. and stuff. And so, I mean, these things are. On the upside, a third the price. Yeah. It's seventy dollars less a gallon for to make a gallon. So A and B is in ha half gallon. So it makes a gallon of resin, uh, but it's forty dollars less than we priced out the alumilite in the same. Um, so there is a learning curve, uh, and so I did waste a lot of it just because I didn't realize it at first, and I made a lot. And as I was pouring it. It cured in here. You literally have like 30 seconds to stir and then pour. And within two minutes, what resin is it? Okay, so this is called, I think that's an SRC Model Pro. And so uh, comments real quick. Kat, she says that she loves this too. Uh, Delania says, hey, 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 beautiful ladies. Elizabeth Geis is on. She says, hello, ladies. And that is what we, she asked me the question, what resin is it? So also, uh, since I bought it in the gallon, it didn't come with little cups. 
And if you saw my video from Miss Lillian's where I poured the resin over this baby, let me see if I can look at that top. That is flipping gorgeous. But if you saw my video where I did the resin pour on this and it has cured, I just don't want to sit anything on it yet. I still want to give it a few more days before, I, you know, but it is gorgeous. Um, if you saw that live, you saw me say that I was running out of cups and I did not realize this, but the, the gallons don't come with cups. So what I have done in my infamous wisdom, <laughs> I didn't say that with a straight face, <laughs> <laughs> is I took two of these little party cups and I marked one A and one B and then up the side with, uh, let's see if I can get it on camera. There it is. I marked it up the side. The That's same, what I do with a Sharpie. With a Sharpie. So this is my A, this is my B. And on both cups, they have a line that is equal height. And so I made my own cups. You can't now, why don't we make a suggestion to anybody watching this? But wanting to do quick set resin, you might want to start with the small kit from like Hobby Lobby or Amazon of the Alumalite. So you have just a little more working time and you could get work used to the product. Yeah, and then if one, you're going to go full on into this, then get that out. product. Yeah. Um, and Delaney says medicine cups work well too. I know, but I don't yeah. have any of them either. Yeah. I was thinking about running out this morning, but. Well, I use the silicone cups and then I could just peel it out. Okay. So what I'm going to need is some of my artist friends out there. One, can somebody order me some more resin? And um, two, uh, can somebody order me cups and silicone stuff? Because yeah, I'm cheap and help a sister out here. Help a sister out. Girl, you know, I've got Amazon Prime and I'll hook you up. So you got Amazon Prime and you're not afraid to use it. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Oh God. My bill shows I'm not afraid to use it so, right now. I'm buying belly bands. Right. <laughs> um, for those of you that don't know, let me see here. Odin, before we get started with resin, Odin. Oh, why do you see this cutie guys? Oh Odin. my goodness. I hear, come here, baby. It's time for you to make your whiskey and lemon debut. This is Odin. <laughs> He's kidding. This is Odin. And for those of you that don't know, um, we had Odin several years ago before I got really sick. And he is a problem child. He's got some, let's just say, urinary problems. And when I got so sick, um, we couldn't keep up. And we had a friend of ours that was willing to take him. And I knew it was going to be a good home. Well, her life has made a turn for the freaking amazing. Like she is traveling. And um, so Odin was going into boarding a lot. And so she reached out to us and said, hey, I don't mind boarding him or I might find him a new home or, or do y'all want him back? And I'm like, what time do I pick him up? And uh -huh. so that's what she meant by she ordered belly bands. So and I told her when Sue was here a couple of weeks ago, um, Milo wears one of those belly bands cause he likes to, uh, yes, board, you're cute and adorable too. Um, he likes to lift his leg on things and so does Odin. And so I didn't know which ones they were. So Sue ordered me belly bands and they're supposed to be here today. I cannot wrestle with you. I'm working. Um, and, and I wonder, you know, if you guys could go back and see the video she posted yesterday when he first came home and saw Shorty. Oh my goodness. Um, I actually made a reel out of it. And I, if you look at the reel, it's set to daddy's home. Yeah. He, he knew, he kind of knew me because it's the first, I've seen him like twice in three years. Um, so he kind of knew me, but when I went to pick him up every time I would say Chula, his ear would perk up and I got home and there's a video of him seeing Chula for the first time in three years. But the one that when Shorty, cause Shorty was working out of town Monday night or Monday night when I went to go get him. So he didn't get to see him till Tuesday. And when he came home, Odin was just like, 
I missed you. And so it's just the cutest video. Okay. Little so, dogs love him. Oh, yeah. Kat says that she is an as Amazon affiliate. Oh, I'd like to talk to you about that. Yeah, we need to talk. Um, Delania said, ha ha, Sue, Amazon is here daily. Oh, ow. Kat says, such a cutie. Delania says that was the cutest video. The way he snuggled into Shorty and, oh, it was just amazing. The little and happy Kat's, tails. <laughs> yes. Kat says they all love Shorty. So yeah. I am still pouring mushrooms, but I wanted to show you guys one of the things that Sue and I were talking about doing um, is this. This piece of furniture. Let me get you guys over there. You know, it's got two holes in the drawer on each side. So it had the bar pulls on them and we just want little doorknob pulls, which we talked to somebody and we're having those custom done by Renee Holder of Two Chatty Chicks. So we we'll have three of us in on this collaboration. Oh yeah. Absolutely, I love it. Yes. So I would like to see if you guys got other ideas of stuff that you want to send to add to this piece or come to Texas and throw a paintbrush on it yourself. You're welcome to. But instead of going and filling the holes with mud or anything else, what we're going to do, because, well, we're cheap. Um, and we cheat. Yeah, this is, this, is, this is a cheat. I'm going to take a mushroom. I don't know which mushroom. I mean, it might even be like one of the little, little mushrooms, or it could be one of the big, big mushrooms. I'm not sure yet because I haven't laid stuff out. Right. Is I'm going to take one of the mushrooms and I am going to glue it over the hole on both sides. So I don't have to go and mud it and then try to match the blend and then, you know, all that stuff. So, and then the door, the drawer pulls will be on the outer two holes. I will cover with my resin molds, the two inners. I'm going to so, turn my camera now so they can see. Kat says, if I don't get to see the whole live, I'll jump later. Have to go to the, have, she has to go to court over the house. Completely understand, Kat. You do you, boo. You know, we love you. And reach out if there's anything we can do. So I just wanted to let you guys know that that is our plan. Um, so let me get these. But the details on the fairy door with this new resin was absolutely, I thought they were, the the detail comes out. Sue, look at that. Wow. So you think it's more detailed? Honestly, because I, I, you know, the one that we, we've got one like this glued on that Sue has already done the blend over. And I used this door just straight out of the epoxy, out of the resin mold. And I um, held it up. But yours, had, the ones that we already did were painted. So the ones with the Luminite already had. So to me, they look detailed, the ones with the Luminite. But it already been painted. So maybe some of the crevices, you know, the little tiny were had paint yeah. in it. But um, I, think they're I think they're just as detailed. But... Hard, they're just harder. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm surprised the dogs get didn't come running, thinking somebody was knocking on a door. So, um, yeah. And I'm just showing Sue. So you don't need to look at the camera. I'm just showing um, different molds that we poured. You know the different mushrooms. And so also Sue left these here because we were working on the fairy cabinet. These are some of Sue's molds that came from Tennessee. And I did a few of those as well. So those will work. All right. Now I need complete and total concentration. Um, real quick. Delaney says, I'm a fan of whatever works the easiest. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Delaney says, wow. When I, when I was showing them, Stacy's on. Stacy says the fairy doors are amazing. Uh, so question for Stacy. I just need a yes or no. Can I tell people what you did with your fairy doors that we poured and you took home with you when you left us? Can I tell people? It's what genius. You 
it is it is flipping genius and then yep. when i tell you guys about it you need to go over to bless your heart designs follow stacy and maybe we can talk her into putting up pictures because it's amazing okay or, they, yes. could buy, or they could buy one she said yes she said yes okay so with the alumalite now i have not tested it with this resin yet but with the yellow with the alumalite resin we poured a set of the three fairy doors so stacy in her feralness um she held it up to a light and you could see the light through it so what she did is that she used glass paint the glass specialty paint and painted these with glass paint and she has like a light behind it like a night light that's what she did and with you her. can buy those flat night lights that plug into the wall and glow and i think that's probably what she used so it'd be easy yeah, I'm to glue not, to i don't know the entire process only thing i know but is it's amazing it's fabulous yeah it is i i want one i really and, want one and also i'm wondering what if you got the clear and poured let them cure and then the for the clear i think it would be even better so delaney says that's genius um elizabeth says i have a three-piece girls provincial bedroom suit set with laminate tops that i have no clue what to do with the tops i painted everything else in t rows okay so laminate tops you're gonna have to use pro stick and that will get you your adhesive bond is your pro stick and then you can do whatever you want to you can do something like we did on top of this and wood grain it and you can epoxy it but in order to get around that laminate use the pro stick that would okay. look amazing with the gray and white wood grain oh yeah yeah so elizabeth said she was gonna say the clear so yeah so stacy we poured them out of the alumina alumina light white the 10 set the 10 minute set and that's what she did with them but after she did that i was like what about the clear maybe we should try the clear it'll might take it'll take longer to set but yes ma'am so all right i'm actually gonna pour molds after i pour dr pepper down my throat <laughs> Oh, goodness. So, in my makeshift cups. Okay, so also on this, if you saw my video, I told you to make sure when you were got your set, what was A and what was B. On the Illumilite, the hardener is the 10-minute Illumilite. The hardener is B. Well, on this one, A is the hardener. B is the resin so again the reason you need to make sure of that is that if you can't get exactly equal you want just one or two drops more of your hardener so i just yeah. i made sure that i made that a point because i didn't want anybody to think that every time a is you know your resin b is your hardener they flip out they flip depends upon what uh set you use so make sure you know which one is your hardener and which one is your resin and make sure you put the right cap on the right bottle if you see here i have this cap labeled with an a and the other cap i have with a b uh there it is there you can see it there and that is so i will not put the wrong lids on if you put b on a and a on b if it gets show up that's around where you've poured it out it'll seal your bottle shut and so it's really important to make sure that you know that now for the set that i used on tuesday's live this you see they have different color caps the black bottle has a black cap the white bottle has a white cap so i didn't bother labeling them because you know I, I i passed the second grade with flying colors and i can tell the difference between white <laughs> what that's funny i did i was all over that man i i was the top of my class in fifth grade i was in special ed <laughs> <laughs> true story 
Because I, I would goof off so much. They said I was a slow learner. Okay. Oh, another thing that I learned the hard way with resin. Never, if you've got too much in a cup, pour it back in the bottle. You will contaminate it. And it will turn yellow. And it'll lose its strength. Absolutely. Delania says, Stacy, if you sell them, please let me know because I buy some. Awesome. Yeah. And I want one and Sue wants one. So I guess I got to find, figure, find out. So do I need to make fairy doors out of clear and then get them to, because I've got the mold, but Stacy lives. It would give us an excuse for Stacy to come over. Oh, darn. Stacey. Oh, it's so hard. So hard to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darn. You mean Stacy's got to come over. All right. So this is going to be really, really quick, you guys, because this is one of the fastest setting things I have ever seen ever in the history of pouring molds. Hold on. Before I mix these two together, I'm going to get you guys over, try to get you guys just a clear shot to the mold and get you guys over it so y'all can sit there and watch exactly what I mean by how fast this thing cures. Now, since <laughs> I've got the camera right in my way, so I don't even know if I can get to it. Uh, but I will make it work for you guys. All right. Okay. Plus, you got to stir so fast. Yeah. A, B. I've got a clear cup here and a stir stick. So, let me do that. A and B. And they get hot. I mean, hot, 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 hot. When the chemical reaction starts... And you're pouring a good amount, which is going to make it set up even quicker. Yes. So, all right. Make sure I get it good and stirred. Get my stir stick. So, is it me or does it have a yellow tint to it? Yes, it's got a yellow tint to it. And then turns white. Okay. And whatever I have left over, I'm pouring into an empty mold. Now, it'll set and you're thinking to yourself, it's not doing anything. And then all of a sudden, it will like explode into white. Stacy says um, it will be the second official meeting of the Feral Wives Club. <laughs> So, like I said, you just, I know it watch, but it, this is fascinating to me. I know it's going to take a minute, but then all of a sudden you'll see this pop of white, especially in the deeper pores. It'll start in the deeper areas first, and then it'll start spreading out. And so this one right here was actually this mold. Now, last night, let me see if I can find it because I moved everything around because, you know, I had something to say <clears throat> and I, you know, got myself off, off what I was doing. So this one here is actually this one. And when I demold, oh, see, it's starting to turn white right there. Watch it. And you'll see down here, see how it's turning? Just, it's just starting to pop. Here we go. It's starting here. In the deep areas. So, oh, hold on. All right. All right. Hold on. I'm just going to put me on the screen, but I should be able to hear you too. All right. So, Sue, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. I wanted to make sure, but you see how quickly that is going? I mean, we're less than two, three minutes in. Yeah. You're at two minutes. Yeah. Two minutes in. 
Yeah, and that bottle said 15 minutes cure time as opposed to 10 on Lumalite. So that's really cool. As long as yeah. you can work quick enough. Yeah, it says, um, it says, well, hold on. Let me put the, which one is this? This is B. I want to put the top back on, the right top back on so I can show you what it says. Mix ratio, one by one weight or volume work time, two to five minutes, which is crap because it starts turning. Um, I'm going to, oh, that's 2.5 minutes. So you got two minutes, 30 seconds. And then cure time, 10 to 15 minutes. Well, you're now seeing it at two minutes, three minutes. What I was going to say is that this one, see how it's, I've got it curved? It's yeah. actually this mold. And if I, it's straight. So as it was curing, I made sure that it had kind of a good cure but not com not the rock hard cure. And when I pulled it, I bent it. So one of my mushrooms, you know, can, instead of having them side by side, I can make it like the bunch and they look like a grouping instead of if I had just straight, you know, I'd have to put them like that and make them. Okay. So when you're using that one, because it cures so quick, my suggestion to people would be, Pour your really detailed little areas first because it's going to start to thicken as you're pouring. It'll be easier to get in the big areas after. And also, this feels more fluid than a Lumalite. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Um, it just feels like that it it flowed into those details better. Well, that's cool. You know how a Lumalite, um, it's a little bit more jelly? Yeah. It's thicker. This yeah. is thinner. So I think that's especially like, let me see the top of the top of this fairy door. It's very, very hard to get into these crevices here. Yeah. Or like the butterflies with their antennas and their little legs. Right. And this just poured in to these small details. I didn't have to force it in. It just poured right in. Well, so, I'm so glad you found that. Stacy said, Ooh, a magic show. So I can tell around the edges on this one, like right up here, still hasn't cured. Right through here and here on the sides, it hasn't cured yet. But oh God, they're and they're warm to the touch. I mean, they are warm. But just let's see if I can pop that one out. What was it? In less than five minutes, I'm demolding. Four, four minutes. From well, four, four to five minutes, you can demold and apply. How, it won't bend at all now? Not this one. So you got about three minutes if you want them to bend to glue them and get them on the piece. And I wonder about the heat test. Well, that's, uh, I was getting ready to discuss that. But thank you, because I was like, don't let me forget this. Okay, so I'm going to move you guys away. And move you guys back over here while we talk about the heat test. And y'all are you gonna bring me back up? Oh yeah, that would be nice. But oh, uh, there we go. Sorry, Sue, I was trying. Um, <laughs> what we're talking about the heat test is I know that with Illumilite, if you Delaney says she needs a stool like mine. It's Craftsman, um, you know, Home Depot or wh wherever they sell Craftsman. You can get them. Uh, they're pretty inexpensive. Um, but with Illumilite, we know that you can throw it in the microwave for 30 seconds. 15, no. 15 no. seconds, right? 12, 12 seconds max or you make it brittle. Okay. 12 seconds. Because I've never done that. Sue told me about that. Um, well, my heat gun is actually better. Right. So I am going to, when we're offline, I'm going to hit this with a heat gun to see if I can get it to move and bendable. So we are still kind of playing around with it and trying to figure it all out. So now this stem just turned white on the one that I bent before. And so let me see if I can get that popped out and see if the yeah, it's still kind of spongy in the stem. Uh-huh. And so see how it's, see guys, how it's it wiggly. It's still wiggly. So since I did that one with a, I'm going to curve it the other way 
and set it down flat so it will dry with a curve in it. I'm going to do it like an S curve. What do you think of that one? That one's going to look cute with a little oh, S yeah. curve. Absolutely. So let me get that baby. And like I said, you can, it's really, and they are warm. Like you will feel the chemical relaxation, re chemical relaxation. No, the chemical reaction. <laughs> I can talk, I swear. Um, Delania said, Sue, that is beautiful. Your blend that you're working on. Thank you. I thought it was going to be a tough blend, but it was actually very easy. Anne from Indiana, she says, wow, finally made it. Hey, ladies. Hey, Anne. Delaney says, that's good to know because I ruined my bowl, the molds I made because I didn't pull them out to put them on the piece quick enough. So we're going to try it with this with the heat gun and I'll try another one um, in the microwave and I will let you guys know. So. You know, that's the one good thing about having artist friends. Let us play and mess up so you don't have to. Oh, you want to know how to do something right? Ask us because we've done it wrong. <laughs> we've done it wrong a lot. A lot. And so... There you go. So, um, since we're on painting with whiskey and women, uh, we, we, you know, we always share with you guys our thoughts on the matter. When Sue and I were looking for, Sue, do you, is it okay with you if I discuss what we discussed about trying this versus? Yeah, I guess. I don't think I know where you're going, but. Well, if I, a, I'm an open book, man. Go for it. Okay. Before I start, uh, Stacy said, are there any fumes? Sue asked me the same thing. Now, when I did the clear on the fairy, the, we, what do we call this? The fairy piece, the mushroom piece, the fantasy piece? Yeah, the fairy piece. The fairy piece. Okay. When we did the, when I poured over the fairy wood um, and did the clear epoxy, my studio, that does have a definite odor. Um, and so my studio still kind of has that epoxy smell in it from that, but sitting right on top of it, I don't smell a huge, you know, I don't smell anything different than what is already in the air. So, or it's not more pungent or, or like, uh, it's not strong enough to override what's been sitting in the studio for two days. So I would say normally not. Well, Lumalite does it. Yeah. And this, here, so. yeah. Um, what I'm saying is that when Sue and I were looking for resin for molds, uh, we saw the Illumilite and we saw this and this set is $40 cheaper to make a gallon. And we talked about it and I says, Hey, have you ever heard of this resin? And she said, no. I said, well, for $40 difference less, I'm willing to take the chance. And if it doesn't do what I want it to do, we can always buy the other. And we, I, we asked the question, are we using that brand because it's the best and it does a great job? Or are we using that because that's what we have been told by creators that we follow, that that is who we need to use? Like so many things. Like so many things. So Sue and I have really been asking ourselves over and over again. Um, is this, are we using this because it's the best and it works for us? Or are we using it because that's we, what we have been told to, to use. And we can get stuff that is a lot less expensive. Cause I don't want to say that this stuff is cheap. It's not cheap. It's just less expensive than what we're used to using. And so we decided to get this in and try it. And as long as you work in small amounts um, and you can work fast for $40 less to make a gallon, this is a home run. So I think in the future, 
uh, Kristen and I will probably be testing this theory on a lot of different products because, you know, different paint companies will put out there that, oh, you can only use our products together and it's not compatible with other things. Well, water-based is water-based. You can use water-based products together. And so on. Yes. And we'll, we'll be going through that. And I, I think we can test the theory on the Sanders, too. Yes. Um, you know, there's... And trust me, I, I love my big creators. You, you guys know that. Oh, yeah. We're not putting anybody down. Not, no, but we're absolutely not. But also, I'm trying to get out of... You, you have to use this. You have to do it this way. Well, if I have to use that and I have to do it this way, why am I an artist? I, I should be able to have creative license and do right. what I want to do. And, you know, obviously there are some instructions. This is one by one, one, one to one ratio of volume or weight that matter. You know, there are certain things that, yes, there are rules too. I'm just wondering if some of the products that we use, we, we use because we've been told that's what to use. We were influenced. And that's a lot of those people's jobs and that's cool. And if that, that works and people can afford it, but a lot of people can't afford it. And we want everybody to enjoy the luxury of doing artwork. Delaney said, thank you both for always being so honest. That's why I love y'all so much. There is no gatekeeping with me and Sue. Um, and also, since we're being honest, I am now a stay-at-home mom. I don't have a store that I sell out of. I do not have a booth anywhere that I sell out of. I am doing projects for my friends and my family and for charities. I've got to get something together for a charity for the Barry Volunteer Fire Department. This is stuff I'm donating. I am not bringing in the income right now, which we do plan on. Uh, Shorty and I are going to be finding a place that I can put painted pieces in again. Um, but that's the thing is that I'm not generating an income and I'm doing this all on my dime. And so if I'm doing it all on a dime, my dime, I need to make sure that I'm not going to go broke. And so I personally am looking for, and I, I don't like using the word cheaper because these products are not cheap, a less expensive option. Right. So, so I can maximize profits. It's not coming out of, and I can still do what I love with the price of everything going crazy. I can still what, do what I love. As a friend of mine says, uh, a baller on a budget. I'm a baller on a budget. You know? Well, a good example is the conversation that you and your husband and I had going back and forth about the drawer pulls. You know, you could spend $5 a pull, but if you have something that you can turn into the same look in the end for a quarter of the price, why not? Um. Anne says that she agrees that, uh, thank you, for, you know, to Delania's, thank you both for always being so honest. That's why we love you. Elizabeth said, my daughter sent me a video on how to set up a regular sander to a shop back because I can't afford a surf prep. Exactly. We talked um, about that too. And Delania says, I totally feel that. I think Delania was talking about when I was saying I'm doing stuff and I'm, I'm trying to be a baller on a budget. Mm -hmm. Um, I like my pretty fancy, my, I, I love my molds. I, I love my transfers. I love my decoupage and I love painting furniture. It's what gets me out of bed in the morning. Other than the fact that I have to pee and I have four dogs. Um, it's <laughs> trust me. Been there. Saw it. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we, uh, we just need to, and if you guys like Elizabeth put in about the surf prep, you know, would it be nice to go out and have, you know, a glow forge and a laser cutter and a whole, you know, area for the cricket and cut our own vinyl and, you know, uh, get gallons of resin sent, you know, every week. And, but it's not feasible. Right. It's, and so. I and, guess, and it's not realistic. And a lot of these people you see doing that have somebody backing them in some capacity. Trust me, guys. Yeah. And so it's either they have an agreement with the company and they got theirs for free and an affiliate link 
or, you know, they are like really influenced and it's like, this is the top of the line. I have to have this. Um, but I've been doing this for years and some of the high dollar items, I have just kind of gone and went. Do I really need that? Well, I look at it as that would be nice. I would love to have one, but how much am I going to use that? And I'm going to get my money back out of it. That's how I am about the surf prep. I would love to have one, but you know, honestly, and I've got 13, at least 13 different sanders and I've gotten by. If you can get by with what you have, you know, you have to be big time to make that feasible, worthwhile. Yeah. yeah. And so maybe we'll make that part of our feral housewife whiskey and women <laughs> set is trying out other products that will do just the same, but will cost you less. Yeah. Um, Elizabeth, she says, I haven't sold a piece in 18 months. Tell me about the budget. I get it. Yeah. Um, Delania, I have to preface Delania's comment for Delania's birthday. Glenn, her husband bought her a surf prep because he knew that she had talked about it and she watches a lot of our videos. And sometimes Delania is awesome. Sometimes when she watches videos, she streams them to her big screen TV. Isn't that awesome? And so her husband has seen her and, you know, oh, you know, so anyway, her husband bought her one for her birthday because it, it, that's a good man. He knew she wanted it and he went out and bought it. Her, she just said, I'm actually upset with Glenn for my birthday present. He was trying to do something nice for me and what he thought would help. Exactly. You got to love him. But it's again, with Delania's situation, it's something that she would love to have, but she would never go out and buy it for herself. But then her husband loving her, Knowing that she wanted one, got it for her. pretty awesome. I think. Mm -hmm. Stacy said, "I find it interesting that the influencers who have the big bad sander, you rarely see them use them after the initial videos. Yeah, or the ones that they require to do a certain amount of videos, and that's the only time you see them." Well, here's another thing, Krista. How often do we stand something? You know, um, a cup like what a month, month and a half ago, I did the video where I you saw me sand off what I had painted on because I was doing the vid the 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 video with the pro stick and everything, yeah. and I just set up one day and I sanded like five projects that day, and I haven't. But sanded. we don't. We, my point is that with the the products we're using with Miss Lillian's products. Oh, a lot uh, of times you can skip that. You can skip you it. Might if you might want to smooth it out a little bit. I, I bet you I sand one and a dozen pieces. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And so I, for me, I don't sand a lot. Um, now, if I was doing custom cabinets or if I was doing something like that, then obviously I'm going to need a good sander. Well, restorations. Restoration. If you can bring them back, you know, and stain them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Delania says, and they never show the goof ups. You guys know almost every video I show you my goof ups, because if I made a mistake, you're going to make a mistake. And if you can learn from my mistake, so yeah, be it. keeping it real. Yeah. I, that's one of the things, Elizabeth, thank you for saying that. Cause it's something that in the industry, as someone who does videos and Sue and I are not big creators. We don't need to be big creators. I'm happy with what I'm doing and the audience that I have. It kind of irks me and it does. I, I've actually stopped watching people because they're just too good. They never make a mistake. And, and I make mistakes daily on my pieces. Oh man, I should have done that. I'll tell you guys right now when I, cause I haven't even told Sue this, but since we're, when I taped around here, I've got two spots on it that my tape pulled the paint when I took it off. And so luckily it's way up underneath. Um, you see, like it's like right underneath here. And so it's going to be easy because it's more of one color up there. 
And so but you had the foresight to pull your tape early too, where I didn't with my scope effect. Mm -hmm. And I it literally went over the tape, the resin, and I didn't take it off. I let it have like four days. And when I peeled it, I had to use an exacto blade to cut so it. I wouldn't peel my resin up over the edge. Mm -hmm. And see, I should have used the green painter's tape instead of the blue painter's tape because this was fresher paint. And it, I should have used the delicate tape, and I didn't. It's an easy fix, though. But, but it I mean, happens. It, and that what happened to you happens a lot. It happened to me with, with that piece, so. And so, the, but I'm not going to say, this police, I, I did so good. No, um, I find it insulting to my intelligence that you're that perfect. So Elizabeth said, me also, Krista, I saw that pop up after I said, you know, I've even stopped watching creators because they're just too perfect. Yeah, yeah. Um, Delaney said that she that, didn't That's intimidating to people. If you're that perfect, they're like, well, I can never accomplish that or do that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I have sat and gone through. That's a half gallon and you see it's like right above the this. That is what I have used since last night, perfecting this because I'm used to the, the other brand. Mm -hmm. And I think the other brand is great, too. Um. I just wanted to see for $40 less. Is there a learning curve? Yes. Did I waste a lot of product learning my learning curve? Yes. Now that I've got it down, is it worth $40 for to make a gallon? Yes, $40. So I can buy what? Well, because it's like, okay, so yeah, it was $40 cheaper. This was like 70 70 75 and I think the Illumilite was like 110. It's like 120 to the door. Yeah, 120 to the door. Gallon. And this was like 78, 75, 75, 80 dollars per gallon. And so it's to me, it's worth it. Um, I know I'm going to get hate from other creators. I'll get a bunch well, of nasty. Yeah, but, you know, people who are doing this for the first time, I, I don't think I would recommend that one unless they do it in really small cups. Yeah, I would not recommend this for not a, a cup time. size, like half each. Yeah, I would I would definitely not recommend this for a first timer. I would definitely recommend it for a, uh, for somebody that's done it. Yeah. Um, but I... I just, I know that there's a lot of people out there that they've got molds and they're pouring them. And if for somebody that's got the skills and can say, oh yeah, Krista told me about that. I saw her video. I've only got like 30 seconds to do this. I need to make it in a small amount and yeah. I've got it. But for somebody that's going, hey, I've got this mold. Let me try. I want to start. I wouldn't. Yeah. It's a little bit more difficult. You've got a lot less working time. Yeah. Um, Delania says that happened with me to tum with tumblers too. Um, Delania, oh. you know, I love you, but I don't know what the honesty is so helpful because people like me, because I was so in intimidated prior to. Yeah. yeah. Elizabeth said that she couldn't use that brand because she works too slow. That's fine. I, I understand, but, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, and you don't want to be rushing and shaking because you're like, oh my gosh, if I don't hurry up. Yeah. It, this is definitely a quick, quick, quick. You got to, and you got to be ready. Boom, 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 boom. Um, and you, y'all can, next time you see Shorty, ask him about the night I tried this. I was getting so frustrated uh, because at one point I was pouring it out. One of my first ones, I think I said this earlier in the video, I poured it. And yeah. it, it hardened in the cup. And I'm like, I just, and I'm like, okay, I got to work faster and I've got to work because I made a larger amount. And so I wasn't fast enough, but as now that I've got it down, I'm good. Delaney said tape and the epoxy and not pulling. Oh, okay. That's what she was talking about. Okay. The honesty. So helpful people, um, 
tape and epoxy and not pulling. So after I got off my live Tuesday night, I came into the studio every 20 minutes and did the scraping around the side to get the drips of the epoxy that was dripping. And then before I went to bed, I took and I cut the tape on one area and I just kind of peeled it on towards the outside of the piece to the outside of the piece each way. Which was very smart. That way, when the epoxy resins, where it hits that plastic, especially along your edges, it's not, if it's hardened, you got to cut that stuff away and it's not fun. Nicole says, Sarah Poo and Catherine said that they love y'all and miss you. Oh, I love my dolly. Oh, oh, oh my dollies. Sue calls them her dollies. Those are her granddaughters, but I call the oldest one, I call her dolly and the little one, I, that's, that's my wiggle butt. Yeah. That's my wiggle butt. Delaney says, nope, not fun at all. All right, guys. Sue, do you realize we've been gone for 51 minutes? 50 minutes. Yeah. Wow. And I've had to hit my screen every 10 minutes because it wants to fade out like when I was there. Mm. So I don't get it. So I, I have like three minutes and I'm going to go black again. All right. Well, we're going to wrap it up. Sue, tell them what you about, girl. Hey guys, I'm Sue, as you know, and I'm located here in Sevierville, Tennessee, inside the Fleet Traders Paradise, right at the base of the Smoky Mountains and about two miles from the new Buckies. So I'll see you soon. And I am Crystal Litter to Glitter, furniture artist out of Barry, Texas, doggo, house hippo mama four, and furniture artist. And um, I will Barrel see you housewife. guys back on my Miss Lillian's live Tuesday at three central Sue and I will be back next week for painting with whiskey and women. So my lovelies and I got to sneeze. Hey, oh God, it's been coming for like five minutes and it just, I was like, I can get off the video before that happens. And it didn't, I'm, I'm sorry. I love you guys. And we will see you guys very soon. If there's a topic that you guys want us to hit on or did you, you know, go down the rabbit hole or deep search, let us, let us know. Yeah, we're you girls. Love you guys. Bye, guys.